hi guys welcome to my channel today we'll be solving the may 13th challenge so let's get into the question so the question is uh, populate the next right pointer in each nodes 2 so here uh, what we have to populate is uh, they will give us a binary tree this is a binary tree which will have one more pointer apart from the left and the right pointer which we usually have in binary tree we also have a next pointer which will be initially empty null so we have to populate this next pointer the next pointer should be populated like a level in a level order so whatever is there in of the current nodes right side in the particular level we have to point that next pointer to that next occurring uh, node in the particular level so let's get into the question and how to see how to solve i've taken the same example which is uh, shown there so uh, the question is about we should join all the levels together right so then we have to do level order traversal so we will use bfs to uh, solve this question so let us uh, see how we can use bfs to solve this question to solve a bfs question we generally need a queue in which uh, initially we will keep our um, first node in our queue okay we have our first node in our queue uh, and we will run the loop until we until our queue becomes empty so what we will do um, we will traverse to each element on the queue using a for loop because we have to traverse the entire queue uh, in a single uh, a single iteration for the entire uh, level so first of all now whatever we have in our current queue we have a, only our first level so we will finish traversing this level using a for loop okay we have a condition while queue is empty at the beginning but inside that we will we will run a for loop for i in uh, i in range whatever the queue length is okay uh, so we will keep the length will be changing in the queue so we will keep the length uh, uh, here so that we can use the length okay uh, so this will be uh, this is how we will be traversing to achieve uh, each level traversal completely at the one iteration so right now like this uh, we have our logic inside this we will run a for loop to try cover everything in the uh, loop before that we will have a, a previous variable where the previous variable will be null initially uh, using this previous variable we will be joining the previous variable with the current variable okay so uh, let's uh, let's traverse this uh, solution and see uh, so first of all our current queue elements are this one so we, we will get the length and we will run a for loop first time nothing will happen inside the for loop we will be uh, appending the left and the right of the queue left and the right of the queue if they exist inside the loop now one has a left uh, two and uh, right as three now after the first iteration our queue will look like uh, this uh, we will have two in our queue and we will have three also in our queue because one once left and once right uh, now our for loop will look something like uh, after the completion of for loop we, it, the queue will look something like this outside the loop we will remove all the elements which we already processed that is till this n whatever we calculated we will remove those elements so till this point whatever we did we removed this one now we um, now in the first iteration we did not do much uh, the queue, the binary tree still remains as it is okay now for the second for, for loop iteration second for loop iteration the while the queue is still not empty we have two elements in the queue so the while loop will not break inside the while loop we will compute n so now the n is uh, 2 so our for loop will run for two times so in the in this two times what will happen uh, we, we, first time the previous variable will be null uh, previous will be null uh, no, nothing will be there um, so our uh, first iteration uh, we will not do anything uh, we'll see in the next iteration in the first iteration what will happen is uh, we will update the queue with the left of the two so he we are here right now so we will update the left of the queue in the uh, left of the current node in the queue and we will also update our right of the current node in the queue okay uh, now our queue looks something like this uh, something like this 
now let us uh, process this next element in the for loop so while doing that our previous previous of q would have been uh, like this 2 so when we come to the next element if the previous element is not null then we will assign the previous element to the current element the next pointer so our previous element is 2 we assign the previous elements next pointer to the current element so this way we will link it so um, uh, in the, uh, now we are in the 3 right so here we will update the queue with 3's left and right 3's left is null we will not update it but right is 7 so we will update this here so after the completion of the for loop we will remove the uh, already processed element in the for loop so this will go away now we ha our queue we have th these things so the while loop will check whether queue is empty queue is still not empty uh, now our, our while loop will continue now our n will be 3 because the length of the current queue is 3 now the previous will again be reset to null uh, uh, now we will continue our while loop for the first iteration since previous is null we will not do anything but uh, we have 4 we will check whether we have 4 left and right if there are uh, there are elements then we will update it in the queue since there are no elements we will not update it mm. now uh, after this our next element is 5 at the time we reach this our previous element was 4 so we will uh, uh, we will do previous dot next and we will assign it to current element so we we get this link okay then uh, next time we are in uh, uh, we will check for the left and right of 5 there are no elements we will not add it in the queue now in the fourth when we reach the fourth in the for loop then we will do previous dot next to 7 so this way we will populate the next element so let's get into the implementation part mm, we will do a normal bfs so for doing the bfs we need a queue uh, so what we will do we will initialize our queue with the root now we will run a while loop while queue is not empty uh, then we come inside this we will for running our for loop we will compute our length of the current queue and we will keep it uh, for i in range uh, the current length of the queue uh, we will uh, iterate over the length before that we uh, to keep track of the previous we will keep previous as none mm, and if if previous is not none then we will do previous dot next is equal to uh, mm is equal to current element current element is uh, the q of i element okay uh, if we need we can store it here current element is equal to q of i then we can keep this variable okay now uh, now we, we we are doing this link if the previous is not null then we are assigning the previous dot next to uh, current element that's what we are doing here now it's time for us to populate the queue with uh, the left and right of the current element if if this current dot left exist exists then we will up, uh, populate that in our queue okay uh, we will populate the current dot left in the queue similarly if uh, um, if current dot right exists then again we will populate the uh, queue with the right element okay uh, uh, this way our queue will be populated uh, this is what we do in our for loop outside the for loop we have to remove all the elements which we have processed so you can do it uh, here itself since i am using a for loop it will be a problem so i am removing it outside so i am just uh, uh, slicing the queue and reassigning it so n uh, till n we already processed what is there outside after n we are keeping it so i am doing from n whatever is there uh, to the right side everything we will keep it um, and i am storing it back into the queue i am discarding all the elements which are present before this n um, since we already processed this is how we um, uh, do a bfs this is the bfs code now uh, since our processing would have been finished until the queue becomes empty so we will return the result return the root node itself let's try to execute this uh, and see if it works fine or not so let me run it okay uh, so 
so i am not updating the previous here that's the problem so every time you have to update the previous previous is equal to uh, cur so now it should work okay it seems to uh, run fine let's try to submit and see Okay, what is this? Uh, okay, maybe uh, uh, the root if it is already null. So since this is this case is there, if it is already the null, then we can return it directly. If um, is equal to none, then return it directly. Okay, uh, let's try to submit it. Okay, the solution works fine. Thanks for uh, checking my video. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.